Hi there, my name is Roy Dunn. One of the most exciting and growing genres of digital photography at the moment is the, the incredible explosion, explosion of popularity of water droplet photography. Droplets falling into substrates, droplets bouncing, droplets colliding, and the physics that are involved with those droplet collisions produce beautiful art, as can be seen in some of the examples behind me. Cognosis Incorporated were the first to market with a dedicated droplet kit, and it's called the Stop Shot Water Drop Kit. And I'm going to go through an unboxing of that kit for you just to see the components of what are involved in creating these beautiful water droplet images. First of all, we have a CD which has the full user manual and documentation and step-by-step -step guide, so it's very, very easy to set up and create the process to create such images of these. It really is very simple. The heart of the system is the stop shot controller. This is a very flexible camera remote controller. It can take multiple sensors, can drive multiple outputs, um, very, very configurable. As part of the water drop kit, it isn't necessarily dedicated to just water drop photography. You can do everything you need to with water drop, but you can use it for other applications as well. It comes with its own power supply, just an AC power supply. And if you're an international customer, don't worry, we provide AC power supplies for the US, for the UK, for Australia, Singapore, everywhere. Full international range of, of pay AC power adapters available. This one happens to be in the US. The, the heart of the system of water droplet photography is the ability to precisely control the dispensing of water drops and, and control their timing, control their volume. And that is done by this electronic valve system that is part of the kit that comes with its own power supply and is actually controlled by the stop shot itself. Here we see we have a nozzle from which the droplets emerge. We have a thread here. What screws into this thread is a Marriott siphon. This is the reservoir where the liquid is stored and will be dispensed a drop or two drops or three drops at a time via the stop shot controller. To mount the system onto a tripod, which is the typical fashion in which we would set the system up, there are a number of brackets and things. That are, there's an L bracket that attaches to the tripod. We then have this vertical rod that attaches what's called the mini sensor, which is the the other aspect of the system that is used to control the timing. This sensor is this U-shaped thing you probably can't see against my black um, cardigan, but this U-shaped sensor has an infrared beam that travels right across this path, such that if we hang it horizontally, a droplet passing through it will create a signal, and that sets the timing off for the precise timing intervals of our droplets and creating collisions, etc. This sensor is mounted on the end of this rod, which then attaches to this L bracket, which attaches to the tripod, and then via a U-bolt, we also attach the Marriott siphon reservoir to the L bracket, and then there is a siphon top, which I just don't see, there it is. One of the features with a Marriott siphon is regardless of the volume of liquid in here, the pressure of the liquid is the same, so the drops are completely constant. Cognosis is the only system that provides that capability. Uh, then we have cables. The system as it is will enable you to actually control two valves and one flash, or however you want to configure the system. Dependent upon which camera system you are using, if you're going to hook it, be hooking it up to a camera system, you may wish to use a, an optional interface cable to the camera, which will be dedicated to your camera. So at the time of ordering, you would specify which type of camera you're going to be using with your water drop kit and order that cable specifically for your camera. The last thing is, is when we're actually photographing the droplets, we are controlling the timing of the flash very precisely. The, the output of the stop shot controller goes directly to the flash. So we have a flash interface cable. We have this, it's an RCA cable available at any length, very, very commonly available. And then we have the interface which takes an RCA connector to a flash PC connector. If by chance the flash or flash systems that you are using don't have a PC connector, Cognosys also provide a hot shoe which will interface any flash to this system. You can also drive multiple flashes if you want to 
direct light from different angles and provide different effects. There are also optional extras available on the Cognosys website for driving multiple flashes from a single output and, and many, many different configurations. Thanks for watching.